Hey, are you looking to make money online? Are you looking to make 2019 the best year of your life ever and figure that, hey, starting an online business is the way to do it, but you're scared. You don't have a clue how to get started. And really, you ain't got that much money. Hey, my name is Chris, all right? From chrisandgia.com. And this exciting episode today, I'm gonna share with you exactly how to start an online business. Even if you're broke, even if you're scared, even if you got no money, and even if you don't even know where to start, hey, this is gonna be the video for you, all right? So stick around for that. So hey, welcome. Hey, if you haven't been here already before and you don't know, this channel is all about empowering you, all right? And myself, the home business entrepreneur, all right, with the mindset and the marketing skill sets to get results, make more money, and finally get the breakthrough you deserve, all right? So if that sounds like anything like you, then hey, I encourage you to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel, all right? So you can be notified whenever I drop new videos on online business, how to start one, how to start an online business, how to be successful with it, all right? So hey, I'm gonna get right down into it, all right? How to start an online business, if you're, even if you're broke, even if you've never done one before, even if you're clueless about it, and even if you're scared, because let's get down right to it, right? That's the main thing, scared, right? The fear of it, I get it, I truly get it, right? You're scared about falling over it, making mistakes, losing money, you got a family, you've got kids, you're right on the edge, you can't afford to make a mistake that could cripple you, and I get it, I get it, but can I be honest with you? Can I tell you something? Man, business is never safe. It really isn't, all right? It really isn't. That's the reason why it's high reward, because there's a lot of risk, there's a lot of obstacles. In fact, you should expect obstacles. As a matter of fact, what I'm gonna share with you is gonna help you past all of that, all right? That's why in this video, we're gonna talk about three ideas, all right? Three ideas on how to start an online business that's gonna help you, and then I'm gonna break it down to the simplest, most fundamental way that I know how to help you just see the basics, So that because there's, there's a lot of fluff out there, there's a lot of strategy, but I'm going to break it down to the fundamentals, all right? <laughs> the fundamentals are going to help you to get past it because, hey, I have a friend, as a matter of fact, she sells really awesome pecan pies. Oh, oh so good. But she's like, I don't, you know, I told her, hey, you need to tell the world about these pies. She's like, oh, I don't know. I'm scared. I don't know anything about it. Oh, it's just, you know, you're so funny. You're just so funny. <laughs> and I'm like, no. I'm not, all right? Okay, so let's get right down into it, all right? So I'm gonna share with you three ideas, okay? These three ideas, in my opinion, are some of the best, some, some really good strategies, ideas, and they work even if you ain't got no money, even if you're new, and they help you through that curve. So I'm gonna start with the one that I think is the simplest one, and then work up to the one that it requires a little bit more effort, a little bit more grit in you, you know? If you got the grit to go after it, right? So the first one we're gonna talk about is something called print on demand okay so print on demand if you don't know what that is I don't blame you because I just recently learned it too and it's just genius okay so it's basically e-commerce okay so if you heard of e-commerce right e-commerce is basically when there's a transaction that's happening online right if you go to Amazon and buy something and you pay for it and, and purchase the product then you just participate in e-commerce okay that's a transaction that's basically happening online buying products and services okay now there's something something else called drop shipping essentially what drop shipping is is like let's say you have you want to create a product you talk to a supplier. A supplier is gonna be the person that's gonna create the product for you. They supply the product, right? And then once that product is supplied, they send it over to another person who's going to be the distributor, the one who's gonna actually fulfill the order for you. For example, Amazon, right? And so you can do all of this and then let's say you set up a website, someone comes and goes to your website, buys your said product, whatever it may be, the supplier gets the order, They get that order on demand, create the order, send it over to Amazon, Amazon fulfills it, and then they ship it to your customer's house. Guess what? You never saw it. 
You never put your hands on the product, right? You never did anything, right? That's essentially drop shipping to my understanding. Okay, so now print on demand is this really awesome thing. Basically t-shirts, all right? People are making some pretty good money with t-shirts, okay? And if you're talking about a business idea, or starting an online business, I can't think of anything simpler than t-shirts. <laughs> Just t-shirts, okay? And so you can, there's a lot of suppliers that you can find that will help you supply the t-shirt, and then you can find places like, so for example, you need uh, someone who's gonna fulfill the order, best place would probably be Amazon, right? And then you need a website where people can go to. The best place I can tell you is Shopify, all right? Shopify is probably the leader, the, the Goliath in that marketplace right now. So they, they have a great setup where they have do the website for you, they have all the payment options, all the conversions, everything is kind of done for you. And so everything is kind of just set up really nicely for the person who wants to get started now. Hey, is this completely free? No. As a matter of fact, you know, these all these all these ideas that I'm gonna mention to you are not like so free free. And some of them actually the first one is the last one, but to be honest with you, nothing is truly free, right? I mean, if you're not paying money for it, you're gonna pay with your time, right? So one or the other. But I'm assuming that you got maybe 50 bucks maybe to invest to like get the website started, right? Something like that. In any, in any case, Shopify has a 14 day trial that you can try out that's pretty cool too, if you decide to go with it. I got a link in the description that you can check out as well. So that's basically what print on demand is, right? I mean, it's a really great strategy for someone, like I said, who's just getting started. You don't wanna put a whole lot of money invested into it to get it working and can really bring in a pretty sizable income, right? So I like that as an as a, as a online business idea for you to start. Okay, and then if, just in case you're wondering too, hey Chris, I don't know how to do this thing. How do you get started with drop shipping and printing on demand? Hey, you can go to websites like Udemy, right? They have online courses for that type of thing and buy you a nice quick course that's really detailed that will help you with it and just 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 run through you from step by step by step with it, all right? So that's another really great, awesome way to get started. My second idea for you, right, for how to get started on an online business you can do, and then we're gonna discuss the basic fundamentals to do all of these things, right, is you can do something that I just think is brilliant that I'm starting to do myself is buy courses and recreate. Let me tell you something, all right? This is probably the most genius thing that the most successful people online do, all right? What they do is they invest their time money or any other type of resources into something that they're trying to do, they're looking for, right? First off, you wanna figure out what you wanna do, right? Figure out what it is kind of niche you wanna be in, what kind of niche you wanna health, travel, finance, you know, relationships, whatever, right? Those are the three top niches out there is health, wealth, and relationships. Pick any one of those three that interests you or whatever, right? And then find someone who is selling a course that has some type of training around that, that's, that looks pretty good, buy it. Yeah, it's gonna cost you a little bit of money. Yeah, it may cost you maybe 50, 100 bucks, but here's, here's how you're gonna make 10 times that, all right? <laughs> this is brilliant, by the way. So it's, 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 get, your, get your pens and paper right, all right? So what you do is you go through this course, right? You go through the course and you implement the things that you, they, they talk about in that course. You start doing it. Even if you don't get any results, it doesn't matter. You go through the course and you do everything. Here's what you do. You take notes in the, entire, in the course and then you turn those notes into your own version of the course. You see, this is exactly what top, I'm telling you, I've had coaching before. If any of you have had coaching before, I've had coaching before, this is exactly what they do. This is exactly what they do. They've taken training that they paid for, masterminds, courses, whatever, from other people, other coaches, mentors, took it, implemented it and then turned around and created a course of their own, branded it around their name and created a training that was very similar to it with the same information, you see? So what you could do is what you could do, turn around and create a course on that, uh, your own version of the course from the same stuff you just already took notes on. Put in your version of the results you got into the course as well. You see what I'm saying? And then you could do one of two things. You can then either sell that course to potential leads, potential prospects, 
for, for, for maybe a, you know, a couple of dollars or whatever, or you can give it away for free and pack inside of it, inside the course, you can have affiliate links for all the services and things that you know people are gonna need in order to do that course. <laughs> Right? It's so brilliant because the course is giving them so much value. You're, you're serving them for free. They're going to be like, oh, this is so awesome. I'm learning so much. And then when you say that, hey, I need this and I need that, you need this and you need that, and you give them the, your affiliate link. So this is like affiliate marketing, right? Another way to make money, another way to start an online business. People are going to have no problem doing it because you've served them. You serve them. So this is a brilliant strategy that I'm telling you right now, I'm doing it right now because hey, I know you bought courses. Some of you probably have bought courses already. They're sitting in the shelves that you've got a whole library of courses you've bought and you ain't done nothing with them. I encourage you right now to pick one of those courses, go through it, implement it, take notes and recreate that course. Take the time to do it. It's gonna take you some time, but I'm telling you that time you put in is gonna be money in your pocket. <laughs> and then the third idea that you, I can share with you to start, start an online business is being an influencer. I can't tell you how powerful it means it is to be an influencer. All right, when I talk about an influencer, that means somebody in the marketplace that people respect, that you have authority, that people see you and they flock to you, right? And I mean, that happens from you being somebody in the marketplace and consistently showing up in the marketplace, right? You see YouTubers, you see people who have huge followings on YouTube, those are influencers. You see people who are, you know, even people that, even people we know, for example, basketball players and football players, right? These people are influencers influencers because why they influence people to do things to buy stuff to join them to do whatever you see what I'm saying because if you can achieve the concept of an influencer all these ideas and any other online business idea you want works it works I just like that because you've established influence so let's get down to the basics okay I want to share with you the fundamentals of how to start an online business which it, whether it is a print on demand business or you wanna buy courses and sell them to people and do affiliate marketing or you just wanna be a flat out influencer on YouTube, wherever, this is what it starts off with. Two things right here, okay? First of all, you do need to establish a brand, establish who you are in the marketplace and what you wanna stand for and do, okay? That's a big deal. Pick a niche, remember the top three we talked about, health, wealth, and relationships. You can pick any one of those and then the first thing you got to do, there's two things. The first thing you got to do is get leads, okay? You got to get leads. You have to generate leads. I'm telling you, nothing else matters. It really doesn't, right? Nothing else matters if you can't generate a consistent flow of leads. You can try every business strategy. You can be on LinkedIn, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, awesome. But if you don't have a consistent flow of leads coming into your business, it does not matter. It does not matter. I'm telling you folks, it doesn't. And then you, you gotta focus on lead generation. You should be coming in, bringing in 10, 15, 20 leads a day. No matter how way you do it, it can be through, okay, so the next question will be like, well, Chris, how you get all these leads, man? How you do this? Okay, I'll tell you, no problem, all right? So one of the big things you're gonna need in order to generate leads would be something that's called a capture page. All right, a lead capture page. That's basically small mini websites that can that act as like one page websites where people, prospects can come to the page, put in their name, email, and our phone number, and in exchange for some piece of information or value that you're promising them. This can be an ebook, this could be a, a mini webinar, this could be a cheat guide, this could be a, a PDF, this could be a mastermind, this could be a boot camp. it could be whatever you wanna give people in exchange for that contact information to generate the leads, okay? So once you've done this, when you, but when you do this, 
This is how you're generating leads, right? And this is all that matters. So common systems that you can use are click funnels. They're a really popular one, very robust system, all right? Another one is lead pages. Another one is, um, there's a lot of different ones. If you use MLSP Funnelizer, they have one, all right? So if you want to take a, check out the trials for the uh, click funnels, I will leave the link in the below. That's probably the most robust one that you can use. Costs you a little bit of money, but hey, if you're talking about generating leads, you're deaf and on autopilot, on autopilot, then it's the best way to do it. Of course, you can do it the free way. There's a free way to do it, reaching out to people, prospecting. Hey, no problem with that, but not as leverage. If you work a full-time job like this guy, right? Maybe you do too. It's not as leverage, so it's something to consider. But once you've done that, right, you're doing this, you're getting leads, generating leads, lots of them, the second thing you gotta do is, man, my board is so squeaky. <laughs> Convert leads, all right? Very simple. Get leads. <laughs> Convert leads, okay? What does convert mean? That means, hey, you're converting them. They're, they're turning, going from leads into customers, into customers, or just our, our team team members, right? They're joining a team, they're buying a product, they're, they're doing something. They're, they've crossed over from just being suspect to prospect to customers, all right? And you convert them. Now, there's a lot of different ways you can do this, a whole lot of different ways. I mean, you can do this with webinars, for example, right? Live webinars. You can do this with emails. Email follow-ups, to me, that's probably the simplest way. If we want to keep it super, super, super simple, like keep it super simple, all you really need is capture page. All you need is a lead capture page to capture your leads, and then to convert them, an autoresponder, right? Autoresponder that will automatically send follow-up emails to your leads promoting your offers. That's it. You've decided on what you're gonna sell, right? You find, you find, some, you find out who your brand, what your brand and who you wanna be. Step two, find out what you wanna sell to make money. Step three, get leads, <laughs> right? With a capture page system. Four, start converting leads, autoresponders. Start sending them emails. Start sending them follow emails with, with offers in it, continuously. You do this, you've got a nice business on your hands. You got a nice business on your hands. I know a gentleman by the name of Ben Settle. You probably know him, great email marketer. That's essentially his business model right here. It's a stupid simple. This guy makes six, seven figures doing just this. See, so, I'm, so what I'm saying is that it doesn't have to be complicated. I don't want you to feel like, hey, people are telling you that you gotta do all these things and be all over the place. No, this is really all it is. This is what my mentor told me. He was like, bro, you're doing, you're doing too much. Get leads, bro. <laughs> Get leads, then convert them. That's it. However way you wanna convert them, but get leads first. Get them coming first because it's gonna take time to be able to convert, learn how to convert and all that and make offers and make sales. You can still make some, but to really do it, gotta get leads. So that's it, my friend. I hope that was helpful, right? I hope that was helpful. Did that clarify anything for you? Did that help you? Did it encourage you? Was it valuable to you? Hey, man, if it was, I encourage you to give the video a like, all right? Definitely subscribe to the channel so you can get more of this because this is exactly what I'm talking about here. That's exactly what it is. So I hope it was helpful and you can get started on your online business today. Today, not tomorrow, today, all right? And oh, by the way, hey, if you wanna get my free gift, my number one recommendation on how to be able to make money online, get started, even if you're broke, even if you're new, even if you got no clue on how to do it, hey, click the link below in the description below to get what I recommend, all right? So that's it, my friend. Until the next exciting episode, all right? Be blessed, stay hungry out there. I see you on the next one. Peace.